Toby X60 and X120 eye trackers offer flexible real-world stimuli setup options, which enable you to study how people view physical objects, projections, and video screens. Please note that this instructional video will explain the process of setting up the eye tracker by using a projected screen. The process is the same if another kind of screen is used instead. For details about the physical object setup, please refer to the included manual. In this video, we will be using a Toby floor stand. This is not a requirement, but allows for easy height adjustment and improved ease of use. Before starting, please download the Toby X series configuration guide that can be found on the Toby website and which is necessary to calculate the correct distance. The tool can be found in the research and analysis section. It is located in user manuals and guides within the library section. Measure the height and width of the visible projection. Enter both values in the configuration guide. In the green box, the minimum distance is shown. Place the eye tracker centered in front of the screen and make sure not to go below the calculated distance. Please note that the calculated value is the minimum distance. Connect the eye tracker to a power source using the supplied power cable. Connect the eye tracker via LAN cable with the computer running Toby Studio. Select Settings and click on the Eye Tracker tab. Select the Eye Tracker to be used and click OK. In Toby Studio, go to View, then Show Track Status. Place a person in front of the Eye Tracker and adjust the Eye Tracker so that both eyes can be seen in the Track Status window. Make sure that the distance between the person's eyes and the Eye Tracker is approximately 70 centimeters. Start the Toby Configuration tool, which is located in the Toby folder within your Program folder. All the positioning parameters included in the configuration tool have to be measured. You will need a tape measure and an angle meter. Please be as careful and precise as possible when measuring the required parameters in your setup. The following parameters have to be measured. Eye tracker angle. Measure the exact angle between the horizontal plane and the eye tracker. Distance to screen. Measure the distance from the back edge of the eye tracker foot to the front of the active display. Height difference between screen and eye tracker. Measure the height difference between the bottom of the eye tracker foot and the bottom of the active display area. Screen angle. Measure the angle between the vertical place and the visible projection. Since this setup does not use a tilted screen, the angle is automatically at 0, 0.0. After a value is measured, it needs to be entered in the configuration tool. Please note that you can also enter negative values if necessary. It might be useful to save the configuration locally on your computer. This can be used as a local backup in case the settings need to be adjusted later. To start using the configuration, click Save to Eye Tracker. Please note that from now on, any alteration of the setup requires remeasuring and re entering of the measurements into the configuration tool. Make sure that the test in Toby Studio contains at least one stimuli. Click on Recording. Follow the calibration procedure and make sure that there is some data gathered for all points. Click the Check Calibration button and verify that no systematic offset is present and the eye tracker is able to pick the participant's eyes up for every part of the screen. The eye tracker is now properly set up and configured. A study can now be carried out. Please note that a new calibration needs to be made for each participant. After all participants are done, go to the Replay tab in Toby Studio and select a recording from the left. Then click Play to see the recording. The collected data can now be interpreted or used for several visualizations within Toby Studio.